TV Manipur. So today uh, the topic we are going to discuss is on how to generate the pick and place the CPL file, the pick and place file uh, that we usually use for uh, mapping the location of the component which is on the Gerber and that you can uh, you know com mount the component using a pick and place machine and this file can be uploaded directly into your pick and place machine and you don't need to program uh, for each and every location of your Gerber file. Right now in the KiCad, the option is already available to generate a CPL file and uh, we usually call it as a .pos file and this file can be generated from the KiCad and which you can easily upload into your pick and place machine and the machine will mount the component automatically. Okay, so for that uh, generation, I just made an example uh, schematic, just a <coughs> mono stable uh, schematic. I just made it. So let me just uh, uh, reroute the component which I was trying to do that. Okay, um, okay so now my uh, track is ready now i need to uh, generate a gerber file first so to generate a gerber file you know that we can go to plot and then in the plot you can just uh, make a new folder okay i just put a folder name as gerber and then you can select that folder yes and then plot it so it will start plotting it generate the drill file so mm, these are the mandatory things to generate for your Gerber. So once the Gerber is ready, you usually do that. How? Uh, what you usually do is that you go to your file here, load the Gerber and check whether your Gerber is properly or not and uh, your locations, everything can be uh, verified using the Gerb viewer, which is already there in built in. So open the Gerber zone file here. It will be available. Load it. Okay. I think your Gerber is ready for manufacturing so you can just go it out uh, go ahead now this component which is mounting these are all SMD component this component has a coordinate value in this XY plane location so this coordinate value is required to be fit into the pick and place machine so what do we do that that that's very simple you can uh, come once again to the Gerber save it and then come here and say export when you go uh no i'm um, fabrication output sorry so in the fabrication output you have one uh, option called as footprint position so okay so this is a footprint position which you are generating J click this and then it will ask uh, what is the format so i want in csv format csv format means nothing but in excel format and uh, you want all the distance to be mapped in millimeter okay usually we you we use uh, mm in most of the cases of the design i don't want a separate file for a uh, front and there's a little bag right now in my Gerber, i am doing only front no back co uh, components are available so if i do uh, select here also it's okay and single also okay but go for single every time and whenever you have a both bottom layer and the uh, uh, bottom layer and there are some uh, uh, front uh, bottom layer and the top layer if you have something like that better use a negative coordinates to define which is bottom and which is top that that you can just click here otherwise non it you can just continue with this and generate the post file it's already generated what we do is here okay and uh, uh, we will go to my uh, the folder where we are uh, uh, creating our uh, uh, this gava file okay so i'm just trying to copy this part and in the gava file now we will be able to uh, check okay uh, this is a gava folder so in this gava folder all your gava file is available at the same time you got one uh, csv file here that's the simple as that and you just double click on this it is an excel file no problem it will open in your uh, word excel or any excel 
up uh, applicate applications and here you got your data so now I, my reference is given here c and what are the value also it's been can be given here package is also generated as well as the x and the y location and with the rotation and as well as a site is top i told you that i have only a single layer called top layer so he is defining everything here so this distal can be directly uh, put it into your pick and place machine and you can run through your uh, program so fine uh, let me just zoom out and show you here so this is the file which you require to fit it into your pick and place machine and then it will uh, plot those component i mean it will mount all those component on your cover easily and automatically by the pick and place you don't need to program separately thank you guys if you like this video please subscribe and like this video i would really appreciate thank you have a nice time